They are mad. As today we check in with any color who on Billy Billy announced the graduation of their virtual real talent, Tanoshiba, on November 18th, and also on Billy Billy made a major announcement regarding Niji Sanji English. That announcement appearing a full hour before appearing on any other platforms, confirming three new VTuber debuts. Those three new talents being Victoria Brightshield, also going by the name of VB and self-described as a sword master, as we also have waddling slowly onto the scene, Unai Nakasato, and lastly, Claude Claw Mark, described as a cleric with big magic claws. The Billy Billy post would even show off the full character models, with Claude's design receiving pointed attention. Claude even acknowledging this one, I'm not beating the forehead allegations with this one, Chief, and leading many users to compare Claude design to another blonde, mole-faced, big-gloved agency male VTuber, that being the now-graduated talent of Hollow Tempest, Magni Desmond, with one particular comparison between the two angering a number of fans, posting, they took his Oshi mark, I'm about to punch the wall. The Oshi mark, of course, being that emoji after the name of the VTuber. Claude differentiated from Magni by adding a question mark, but still leading to reactions like, like, I'm kind of upset. One of the new Niji debuts has gloves as their Oshi mark. That's Magni's Oshi mark. We also have Claude's Oshi mark is gonna make me off myself. How do I gatekeep an Oshi mark? Alongside, if you're saying it's just an emoji, check yourself. I don't agree with everyone's actions, but don't you dare minimize our pain like that. Your Oshi is still here, ours isn't. That post receiving this reply, it's not just his emoji, it's his mark. The next door neighbors might not have the obligation to pick different marks, but it feels disrespectful. Along with, I don't think they're even aware. It's like seeing someone you just knew coming over and just playing with your family heirloom carefree. And like that, I suppose we shouldn't be mad or lash out on them. I don't think he did it out of malice, so let's just wait. Those replies receiving backlash, including, bro, that's just childish. I miss him as much as everyone else, but being upset over an emoji when the other dude even even has a double Oshi mark. Like, poor guy hasn't even debuted yet and already has people mad at him because of the most stupid reason ever. Along with, there are several VTubers out there that share the same Oshi mark. It's not that big of a deal. Calm down. Are VTuber fans okay? Like, in the head. Medication. What's a strange fellow? Further, it's an Oshi mark. Yes, you associate it with another VTuber, but not everyone in the VTuber community does. Many VTubers have it as their Oshi mark. Mark II, he wasn't the first, and certainly won't be the last. Your pain of the sudden graduation is valid, but not everything revolves around them. That then leading to this artwork from Zay, asking, could an alchemist who debuffs and a cleric who heals from two different companies love? Open your eyes to the truth. Others going on to point out, speaking of having the same Oshi marks, I just got reminded that Ike and Owie literally have the same Oshi mark. One is a novelist, and one is an artist. At this point, they can make a manga together. That as Ike would go ahead and respond to Claude, saying at least you can tweet. Ike even famously being locked out of his Twitter account before his debut. All while this morning, Claude would tweet, test, test, I've been stuck in Twitter jail for like the last six hours. The announcement of these debuts originally teased here in a message so bright, many had to check on the alternative description just to read the text. And with four lines, many wondering if that would lead to four new debuts. And as revealed on Billy Billy, we have three new debuts set for this Friday, along with an official debut program hosted by Maria Marinette and Luca Kaneshiro. This graphic also mentioning here that alongside the debut streaming program, there would be a music video release. However, at this time, not only is there no waiting room for any music video, but we also at this time do not have a wave name for these three new Niji Sanji English VTubers. When asked about this, Claude would remark about the name, it is a surprise you have to tune in for. As in the descriptions for some of these videos, there is the title of Triple T, a possible wave name or a placeholder. This as the original Twitter.com announcement was deleted. Niji Sanji receiving numerous responses before that deletion, such as can VTuber agencies please hire mixers for voice reveals please. Many noting that the voice reveal trailer that was released 
produced did not sound clear or to their ears was low in quality. Leading to Nijisanji English to post up a new announcement this morning, giving this disclaimer, this announcement has been re-uploaded due to an issue with the audio source. We sincerely apologize for the inconvenience caused. Along with that, there was the announcement of debut merch that while the VTubers would go on to introduce themselves and their rigging. Raymo Indo asking, how do you go to the bathroom with that hand? Can I hear saying I think we're gonna have lots of fun together? And Vivi here with I'm Schmoovin'. Also providing us with this doodle of the three. Can I originally asking which one is me? I can't tell. And then further responding, oh, it's the one with the honkers. The real set of badonkers. The wobbly water balloons. The And as it has now been four months since the last debuts with Niji Sanji English, we now have yet another update to this Niji fan meme. Alira Pandora once again responding to it, saying I'm just dust at this point. While Hanemakia is here saying, does that make me an Adam? Also claiming to be old is Kyo Kanako with Niji Sanji English. Receiving a reply from Claude, can you hear your bones creaking? Kyo remarking of the three new members, we got Edgy Chorus from Team Plasma, Tintin with more screen time, and a new Leona skin. That as Kyo would have an important message for his viewers on stream, and going on further to talk about it on Twitter. Stating, I've debated tweeting this after I addressed it yesterday on stream, but decided it's important. Saying, please stop using my real health condition for your fictional ships, tier lists, rankings, categories, jokes, etc. I'm tired of seeing my health used as a way to belittle my capabilities, calling me frail, weak, or imply that I quote unquote need saving. I'm only open about this stuff because I want to inspire other people with disabilities to feel empowered, feel like they can do what they want, and to be constantly told I am weak, etc. every time I go online is against what I stand for. I don't think it's right to constantly remind someone they are suffering simply because you find it amusing. I'm a human, not just an entertainer. This is not about anything specific or recent exclusively, but rather a greater issue. So please don't attack anyone you think this may be about. That is next up, we have the VTuber in training, Fillion. This fruit snack goblin teaming up with Mythic Talon, who were on hand this past weekend in Vegas, hosting numerous meet and greets at TwitchCon, saying thank you to everyone who came to TwitchCon and visited our booth, and a huge thank you to all our wonderful streamers. This year was a blast, and we hope to see you all next year. That as Felian and Mythic Talent teamed up to present VTubers vs. The Wall, a large-scale independent VTuber motion capture event that had gone on to become the Felian stream with the highest concurrent viewership ever. That stream also in collaboration with Fansly, with Felian planning to release new content on that platform. All while this hole in the wall stream also came with exclusive merch. Gallery Panda now making available this commemorative poster featuring the seven VTubers intended to be on the stream. Unfortunately, dropping out before going live was Lena Lazar, Project Melody, and Shy Lily. Lily posting before the stream, I was super excited for the mocap event, but I'm still super sick and I've been around a ton of people who tested positive for Ligma. Out of respect to my friend's health, it would be irresponsible to be around them. A shame the event had to get messed up by Ligma stuff. Stay safe, friends. Mel tweeting out, go, 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 go. I won't be able to join, but I'll be cheering my ass off from the sidelines. Please go support Philian. While Lena would also post getting another test because the one I took said positive, I'm so, so sorry. I've been trying to delay posting to wait for the test. I didn't want to risk any of the girls at Philian's Hole in the Wall event. Please go support Philian and the remaining girlies. That leaving not just Philian, but also Camila, an imp jester VTuber, but also Tricky Wee, a chaotic Egyptian harpy dragon, and performing interviews was AI VTuber. YouTuber Norosama. Philian going on to make clear that if she has another IRL event like this in the future, it will not be immediately after a convention. And now bringing us over to Sea Dog VA. This weekend doing shots with Girl DM. And after asking, so who else is feeling like sh after TwitchCon. That as days before, Hellhound VTuber Cinder would tweet out, I think I'm getting sick. And then days later confirming, I'm definitely sick, so streams will have to wait a bit longer. The day after Cinder's first tweet, Saraway saying, my throat is so sore that it's incredibly painful. I had to start miming to communicate with my friends. Going on to respond to Connor with, I'm dying. Vexoria the Sun Eater tweeting out, last night Tricky Wee and I kissed. It was magical. Only then to tweet out later, her partner remarked, 
remarking maybe you shouldn't have kissed all those women. Vex confirming she is positive for Ligma, but still saying worth. Yes, it seems many have caught the plague at TwitchCon. After the convention, Numi tweeting out, voice in the trenches, sleep deprived, and a runny nose. Hours after her recap stream saying was good, now I'm dying. Professor Lando admitting I'm so sick, and being told by V Shoujo's Moten Du skill issue. Vienna saying yes, my sleeping for 48 hours will fix it surely. Marionette VTuber Joel saying throat dead but hoping no ligma, coping so hard, and updating, unfortunately caught ligma. Gonna do my best to recover for streams and Friday's debut. Meanwhile, another VV, VV Chan the Dragon, giving us this ligma alert. Hi all, I'm so sorry, but I have just tested positive for ligma, so please get yourself tested if you met me. Melota's here with shit and last second as well. Everyone around me is negative, including my roommates. I'm 99% sure I caught it at the airport. It's just my luck. Uzu here saying, whoever got me sick, I'ma f*** you up. Luckily, I tested negative for Ligma. Luca here with, oh dear, anyone that was in contact with me in Vegas, please test. Saying further, I didn't even go to TwitchCon. I made it up till now without getting it. VTubers are stinky germs. Not alone in that, we also have L asking who got me sick. All while Liz Justice, the narwhal queen saying, well, I tested positive for Ligma. My whole group was negative except me. Got the gotcha luck I didn't want to win. Also not feeling great is Cottontail VA, voice actress and streamer. Seen here in this accurate account, meeting up with both Cinder and Numi. Cotton going on to tweet, I met Shy Lily for the first time and she said, quote, it's so nice to see the rest of you. I'm used to seeing only certain parts. Lily also showing her IRL self at a meet and greet, stating just two gremlins hanging out. That being alongside Iron Mouse. Lily going on to say, thank you for meeting me. You're the absolute sweetest. I was such a nervous wreck. Love you, Mousy. While Camila would tweet, just met Mousy at the V Shoujo party and she just kept calling me pretty. V Shoujo making their impact at TwitchCon this past weekend, offering these exclusive t-shirts alongside Senpai Squad. Showing up once again with Itasha, but also receiving some critical feedback regarding their V Shoujo after party. Like this account saying, so you're saying we lined up to the V Shoujo cross Senpai Squad party early with promises of a gift for the first hundred people, only to be scammed, and they didn't give us anything. What's going on? That being a part of this original announcement that said freebies for the first hundred in line, saying it would be Senpai Squad plus V Shoujo merch offered. Further accounts like no goodies for V Shoujo party. What's going on? Along with V Shoujo party was a joke. Only one bar opened with three bartenders for a hundred plus people, absolutely no room, and the VIP area was only a small deck that barely fit 20 people. Waste of money. This account describing got to hang out at the V Shoujo party for like a whole 20 minutes because VIP was so oversold and there was only three bartenders behind a massive bar for hundreds of people. But the music was good. Would have been worth general admission, but not VIP. That backed up by friend of the show, Sneb, saying V Shoujo TwitchCon party was a big disappointment. I'm glad me and my party could go somewhere else nice at the Cosmo. Sneb also adding this to the Sea Dog VA wall. That being a whiteboard set up on the TwitchCon floor by Sea Dog, somewhat underlit as they were going to charge him $10,000 just for overhead lighting. Claro asking for permission and being granted the ability to make this massive amount of artwork on the mural, spending 14 plus hours to represent numerous VTuber mascots. Taking home a part of that wall was Giga Cosplayer Commander Mizzy, saying thank you so much to Sea Dog VA and Claro for this awesome gift. I will cherish it forever. That has numerous V Shoujo cosplayers could be seen on the TwitchCon floor, but that after party not being all from Senpai Squad. As at TwitchCon, they also made available 250 limited quantity Project Melody desk mats. Melody further tweeting found a special toggle on the new model and earlier being visited by Fillion on the TwitchCon floor. Help me, help me, help me, Do you help live help you. in Mississippi? Yes, Cause you're the only miss who's pissed I want a sippy. <laughs> Melody alongside Fifi confirming they are stuck in Vegas. While another VTuber would talk about TwitchCon saying, man, I saw so many VTubers last night. I had so much fun. It's crazy to see your voices come out of a human flesh Gundam. That being from V Shoujo's Iron Mouse, seen here in this updated file photo. I Candy remarking on this new look saying I'm going to eat her. This being Mouse's new Yokai Hunter look. This new model offering loads of new expressions, including 
including a chibi form. This all unsurprisingly coming by way of Kevin giving us a pouty Iron Mouse. This stream featuring brand new artwork by Omiya Duke Doke, complete with friends and all of the rest of V Shoujo. That is, we also have So So saying it was an absolute pleasure and honor to work on the Iron Mouse Yokai Hunter anime opening. This animation featuring all of the rest of the members of V Shoujo turned into monsters, along with Uwu Media saying we were invited to work on Iron Mouse's Yokai Hunter background. Thank you for all the love and support for the animated magical scene we got to create. That as both Invasion Club and Iron Mouse have teamed up for a brand new merchandise drop, offering up t-shirts, stickers, and a tapestry, with Mouse also teaming up with Infiniki. Now offering up Iron Mouse, Zentrea, and Haruka Caribou themed keys. This new look of Mouse is receiving this Nemo artwork. The illustrator saying, I think this outfit is my favorite so far. The Yokai Hunter look concepted by EpiB, showing off Mouse at TwitchCon and giving us the reference sheet for this new design, calling her the elusive warrior in pink. That as another pink VTuber with V Shoujo, Matara Khan, would confirm her next look is being worked on by EpiB. This cockroach VTuber not only receiving this best mommy illustration, but also this Momo snack piece. This week, Matara also offering up voting for her 18 plus art tag. That all coming after this, with user Khan saying, while I don't mind sharing hashtag only cons with Matara Khan, I am a little hurt that nobody in her chat acknowledged that I've been using it for three plus years to promote my OnlyFans and told her it was completely free. Matara jumping in and responding, oh hey, just saw this. I'll take a look after stream. I was told it was free and couldn't find you when I searched. I'll change the tag. Sorry for the troubles. Khan responding, hey, it's absolutely fine. I'm not upset at all. I recognize as an NSFW creator, I probably had a lot of my SEO hidden from your audience. Absolutely no ill will. Was just looking for some acknowledgement. Thank you so much. Matara on her Discord also making clear that tag is changing, saying it's very easy for us, a large tight-knit community, to change tags and pack up and move. So we will be. Please be kind, courteous, and polite. I will not be tolerating people being rude to the creator. Thank you. As also with V Shoujo, we have Kuro, still currently holding the highest score within V Shoujo for the Watermelon game. At TwitchCon, receiving a great time from his good friend IPN, and also taking to Twitter to say 250,000 followers on Twitter. Thank you so much. You are all amazing. Thanks for the insane support these past couple of weeks. Here's my jacket as a thank you gift. The soon to be debuted Mia Marina of Project F asking, why is it so scratchy? As next, we move on to V Shoujo's Fruit, celebrating her birthday over the weekend and promising a surprise, a deadly surprise. Duke here with thank you, Lich VTuber for another great opportunity. I drew the starting screen for her new outfit stream. It got animated and it's so cool. That being the new tactical Frug. This tactical toad Frog being concepted here by Fruit and dropping a brand new merch collection, complete with t-shirt, hoodie, and headband. Nika Nuka Man posting up this Lichcraft artwork for the birthday. The ghost saying, when I saw this, I had to add some extra flavor to it simply because it was so perfect. As still to come on Halloween, Fruit will have a Halloween outfit debut, two song releases, and a new stream overlay. As now, very lastly, with V Shoujo, we have Henya, seen here giving a licka licka by Ronnie, while going on to collaborate with both Pipkin Peppa and Tenma Miami of Face Connect. Just before Henya checking out one of Pippa's original songs, Pippa the Ripper, Pippa seeing Henya do this on stream and placing the actual song on private just a minute into Henya viewing the song. Pippa and Henya having so much fun that slated for next week is a new collab with the Yabbit trying to teach the genius how to play Mahjong. And back to TwitchCon, we have Shark VTuber Mega, unfortunately coming down with Ligma before even attending the convention. But even so, still tweeting out, thank you guys so much for supporting me. I truly have never fit in anywhere, but these past eight months, you guys have made me feel like I can actually be myself without the worry of what anyone thinks. While Yuzu, fresh from Japan and going straight to the convention, sharing she had just one of the worst flights, but also enjoying her time in Vegas, saying no one told me Vegas had bomb Mexican food. What the f**k? 
I threw my whole badassy out for these tacos. Good lord. Also having a good time was Camila sharing I was suffocated by Buff Pup's tits. This really is the best vacation ever. You should all be jealous. And yes, again, attending was tricky. Earlier sharing I have penetrated Las Vegas. And after saying flying home, thank you all so much for a wonderful time at TwitchCon. You all made it very special for me. Thank you for the new memories, the gifts, the laughs, the hugs, and kisses. Tricky receiving this important message from Vienna, the cute cosmic dragon girl, saying of TwitchCon, the con was amazing and everyone is so beautiful and cool. I couldn't stop smiling the entire time. So grateful to be a part of a community like this. Everyone builds up and unequivocally supports each other. Cottontail once again, saying I've already met so many fantastic people this weekend, feeling so happy and spoiled with kindness right now. Further, the dorky lewd bun L, <coughs> sharing here how nervous she was meeting her friends. Also sharing my biggest highlight of TwitchCon was turning a flesh tuber into a VTuber. Being a VTuber is so much better. Virtual moth woman Juniper sharing, okay, I know I said on stream that I wasn't going to do a meet and greet. It was super, super impromptu, but it was amazing. And thank you to all the people that caught me this time. Further sharing, bro, I am actually tearing up thinking about going home. This has been amazing. Those tears being shared with girl DM tweeting, I'm home. I cried on the plane. Not sick at all. Just miss my friends. Oh, while well, we have Astraline's Valkyrie Alfida sharing, when I went home to my Airbnb today, I cried in the Uber because I was so happy I met all my friends. It's just unreal. I love you all so much. And yes, those Uber rates could make many people cry. The Valkyrie saying further, so happy I got to meet so many people and how natural it felt. Like we have been friends IRL forever. Lastly, now bringing us to Chibi. Reacting here with they left the mouse pad. Mythic talent sharing someone broke into my car and stole everything except my Chibi Doki mouse pad. Chibi sharing her time at TwitchCon saying, bro, I got my hair and three people's drinks at the partner party. And upon leaving saying TSA went through my bag and pulled out all the stuff I bought. Oh my God, Bowser stickers and pins everywhere. And now with even more things VTubers say, it's our co-host Lady. Take it away. Thanks, false. DJ and VTuber Vebe begins this spooky month asking, do you see it? While announcing not only a new outfit, but an updated version two of their model rig, hinting at the return of the maid. Cooking VTuber Onigiri officially streams for the first time on Daddy Twitch, Mommy YouTube, and Uncle X together in their last ditch effort for Fruit Ninja to get a score of 3,000. What Geary did score was over 150,000 YouTube subscribers posting y'all are amazing and releasing this 3D model of Oni Bro free to use. V Singer Mega celebrates over 100,000 subscribers on YouTube, receiving this fan animation, thanking Mega for being so easy to troll. Though this spooky month is not just filled with tricks, but also treats as Mega also hosts a Halloween costume contest and releases a teaser for their new cover in collaboration with Niamura. Ice Demon Sends celebrates reaching a thousand followers on Spotify, hosting as someone who doesn't consider myself a singer. This is very heartwarming to me. Thank you. I will continue to try singing for you. Though this Ice Demon's talents don't just stop there as they post, why did nobody laugh at the farmer's joke? It was corny. Thank you. Thank you for that. Medic and nurse VTuber Athy has now gotten their YouTube monetization back within a day. Congratulated once again into the YouTube partner program. That while also getting their model fully funded as shown in this work in progress by Tortado, Space Cow Milky Ways shows the face of a very happy vampire cow. As they also drop a merch collaboration with Pastel Melon and stocking up on some third year anniversary merch, Milky Ways will also be doing a live stream autograph signing over on Streamily as of October 28th. Yuria is a fate lover VTuber that is finally re-debuting. While also celebrating their second anniversary, their live 2D model was illustrated by Sayadon with a new room overlay by Salus and merch drop in collaboration with Pastel Melon, along with some more say-so merch, including a Opai mouse pad, Playmat, and Doki Makura. Hellhound VTuber Cinder releases a special U2's plush as this little guy was attending TwitchCon. Cinder goes out to post, I'm so grateful for all my friends, meeting and seeing friends I haven't seen in so long and having them tell me about how proud they are of me and how far I've come makes my heart so full. I'm gonna miss you guys.
guys. That as Cinder also celebrates reaching over 150,000 followers and subscribers on both Twitch and YouTube, and announcing the giveaway winner to their huge merch giveaway. Mooncat VTuber Meow Moonified incredibly posts I'm PPs and celebrates over 50,000 followers on Twitch. Demon Girl Rainho is shown in this illustration of cozy times in Japan, along with some not so cozy times, and celebrating over 200,000 followers on Twitch. Sun Kenji hosts a huge Halloween outfit contest for Kenji, showcasing the 52 finalists, with the ultimate winner going to Red Lariat. As Kenji posts, thank you for joining in, everyone. I had a lot of fun looking at the creative Kenjis you made. Posting to everyone, happy Halloween, trick or teeth. VTube Studio releases a massive update for their plugin API, allowing you to load any custom images as items and even pinning them directly onto your model, allowing for all sorts of fun and potentially dangerous stream integrations. Professional procrastinator Omni is hosting a Halloween doodle party where all profit goes to Gamer Outreach's spectacular Streamathon 2023 event, raising not only donations but also party members. Though the Halloween doodle party rewards don't stop there, as Omni releases this free to use live 2D mascot being a cat witch, a reward from the fundraiser. Cyber Doggo Sakura announces their graduation as they will be officially graduating from their VTuber activities and turning their current account into a art and rig account. Though they do hope to someday to be able to come back, they post, I'm so thankful for this journey and every person who stayed by my side. And now back to you, False. Thank you so much, lady. Also, a thanks once again to Lilac Snow, re-debuting on October 28th. Last night, interviewing another co-host. That's right, it was Lady's turn. Lady also receiving this artwork from Lindo, offering up this quick warm-up sketch. And that is all for this episode. As always, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe below. Send in your VTuber news to our Discord. Pick up our merchandise at Uwu Market, and we'll have more things VTubers say for you soon. DJ and VTubers. Anyway, restart. That while also having their <laughs> restart with the work in progress shown here by Tutato. 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 Restart. Restart. Ah! Restart. That will also an <laughs> restart. Milky Ways will also be <laughs> restart.